everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Dani in today's video I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful blanket this is the Primavera blanket it is just stunning I'm so happy with the result and I'm so happy to share the pattern with you guys before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and I also want to remind you that you will find the written instructions um, and everything all the materials on my blog I will also list everything that I used in this video in the description box the name of the colors that I used um, the amount of yarn that I use per colors and all of that information is going to be in the description box of this video so please check that out and now let's get into the tutorial so for this beautiful blanket I used the Karen Blossom Cakes by Yarn Inspirations I used five different colors like I said all the colors are listed in the description box of this video so as you can see they're so beautiful and then in between each three rows of color I used a creamy color or a white you can use a white or you know a creamy one this is the one um, it's the same brand the same line it's just this beautiful creamy color that I used for the white stripes and like I said at the beginning this is worsted weight yarn um, and the exact amount is going to be in the description box of this video you will also need a six millimeter crochet hook your scissors and tapestry needle okay so we're gonna begin with the foundation chain and for this blanket you're gonna need 169 chains this is to make the size 57 by 66 inches this is the free pattern on my blog and if you would like to have access to all 14 sizes you can purchase the PDF pattern that it's also going to be listed in the description box of this video the PDF include also the crochet diagram okay so for row number one we're going to do a row of just single crochet so single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then single crochet all the way across your chain this is just a little foundation um, row very simple just single crochet all the way across now for row number two you're going to chain three turn and then double crochet in the first space as your three chains the chains will always count as one double crochet now you're gonna skip two stitches and you're going to three double crochet in the same stitch this is gonna be your first cluster and you're gonna repeat the same sequence skip two stitches and three double crochets in the next one to create another cluster and repeat this all the way across Here we are at the end we have three stitches so we're going to skip two and then two double crochets in the last stitch because we started with two double crochets we're gonna end with two double crochets now for row three you're going to chain three turn your work and because the, in the previous row we started with two double crochets now we're gonna start only with one so the chain three will count as the first one so what we need to do now is the cluster in the space from the previous row so double crochet three times in that space and you're gonna repeat all the way across 
go to the next cluster space from the previous row and double crochet three times in the same space. Now repeat this all the way across. Here we are at the end and because we started with one double crochet we're gonna end the row with one double crochet. Now let's go to the next row, this is row 4, chain 3, turn around and because in the previous row we started with one double crochet, now we're gonna start with two. So double crochet in the same space as your chain 3 or your three chains. And now we can continue with the clusters. Do your three double crochets in this space between the clusters from the previous row. So in here you can see we have two stitches, then one, then two. And that's how we know how to start and how to finish each row. I hope this information is helpful and so you can continue now with the same pattern until all the way across. This is also known as the um, granny stripes stitch, if you didn't know. Here we are at the end of the row and because the previous one had one stitch, now we're going to finish with two. But in this case, I'm going to make one double crochet and before I do the next one, I'm going to switch colors because we're going to do three colors, three rows, sorry, with color and then one with the white or the cream. And I'm going to do a knot. You might think I'm crazy, but I'm doing this only because I know I'm going to be making a border. So that's why I don't mind if I have a teeny tiny knot at the end. So I'm going to do my classic invisible invisible knot. So I'm going to make a knot with the white on the green yarn and then with the green on the white. I showed this guy I showed you guys um, this technique in my previous uh, videos. I love this knot. And now we're going to pull gently until both knots meet. And then I'm going to cut whatever is left there. Once it's nice and tight, now we can cut as close as you want from the, from the knot. It's not going to come undone, I promise. And now that we have that joined, now I'm going to make my last double crochet. And look at that, I have changed colors. And I still have that little knot in here, but like I said, I'm only doing this because I know I'm going to make a border. If I, I'm not making a border, if you don't want to make a border, just leave a long tail and weave in the end, at the, at the end <laughs> of your project, because you will be able to see the little knots. Okay, so now chain three, turn around, and because we have two stitches, at the end of the previous row, now we're going to have only one here and we're going to jump to the little space and do our little cluster with the three double crochets in the same space. And this is what we're going to be doing. This is how our pattern is going to be looking like. Three rows with the color yarn and then one row with the white. Okay, so keep working the same pattern. The only thing we're going to be changing now is the colors. And because I have multiple colors, what I did was three rows with one color, then one row with white, and then I will switch and make three rows with another color. So in here, as you can see, I'm done with the white. And instead of doing the regular double crochet in here, I'm going to cut the yarn and do the same process with the knot again and I'm going to go back to the colorful yarn. This could be a new color like I said or it could be the same color that's totally up to you um, like I did was switching colors. So 
three rows with one color, then another three with a different one, and each of those groups, let's say, was separated by a row with the white. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And you also have all the information on my blog, so don't miss that out. Go and check it out. You have everything there. Everything is written down for you. So in here, we have the last double crochet, right? Because we had two in the previous row, so we only finished with one. Now chain three and double crochet in the very first space there because we need two for this row and now cluster in the next space available and that is everything for this blanket now you're gonna keep doing this until you have completed 120 rows or until you know if you want to make it longer you can also keep going um, but yeah, I did 120 rows. Here, I'm done. And now I'm gonna make the border. This is totally up to you. You don't have to if you don't want. It looked really nice without a border, a border. But because I had those little knots, I was kind of forced to make a border. <laughs> um, so I'm only doing a half double crochet. <clears throat> and in here, sorry. I'm not going to make the knot to join the yarn because you will be able to see it. So instead, I'm gonna finish the last stitch with the new color, in this case, the creamy one. And I'm gonna do a whole row of um, white half double crochets. A whole round, better say. So in here, we're gonna turn around and do this whole row with the creamy color in half double crochet here you can be creative and you can do whatever border that you want it's totally up to you some people make nice bubbles and there are just so many nice border borders out there you can even create your own um, I'm simple and I was tired so I just wanted to do half double crochet all the way around so I have my half double crochets. Here I'm at the corner. So to create a nice corner, I'm gonna make two double crochets as well in this last stitch for a total of three. So in each corner, you will have three half double crochets to create that nice round corner. Now we're gonna go to the side of the blanket and in here we have the rows, right? Because this is the side. So in each row, you wanna place two half double crochets. If you crochet super, super tight, you might wanna do three, but because I tend to crochet a little bit looser, I'm only doing two. But that's gonna depend on how tight or loose you crochet. So I'm placing two half double crochets in each row, in each space. In here, we have the turning chains and the last half double crochets from each row. And in here, you can see my little knot. It kind of gets a little bit hidden with the half double crochet. Some don't, but it's okay because this blanket is for myself, so I'm not too worried about those little knots. When we get to the next corner, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You're gonna half double crochet three times to create a nice and round corner. And then you're gonna do one half double crochet all across the foundation chain. And then repeat the same thing on the other corner and the other side. Now, we are at the end and again in here you can keep going if you want and create more rounds don't forget to do your three stitches to create the corner i almost forgot in here <laughs> so i have my three um my three uh, 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 half double crochets and like i said if you want you can keep going and make a few more rounds if you want but 
I'm just tired and I'm only gonna do one. <laughs> and once you're done, just cut your yarn. Make a nice um, last stitch in here. And then all you gotta do is weave in your ends. And that's it. This blanket is stunning. I'm so happy I did it and the colors are amazing. This yarn is a blend of cotton and acrylic, so it is extremely soft, super lightweight, and the blanket, believe it or not, is extremely lightweight as well. And you can see the colors are just beautiful and they blend together beautifully. It is so stunning. I'm so excited with this blanket and I just cannot wait to, you know, snuggle under with my kids and enjoy watching a movie i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if so please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can leave your comments down below if you have questions please let me know i always try to answer as many as i can and don't forget to check out the pattern that's on my blog all the links are always in the description box of this video and if you would like to support my channel i would highly suggest you get the pdf pattern because that way you have the 14 sizes plus the crochet diagram and a bunch of other little perks that the pattern includes that the pdf pattern includes so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye